Hogan, the former bomber, but it's marked by Birchall, peeling off of him. Gibson onto the chest of Mitchell. Again, they move it quickly. Out wide of Hill. He's got genuine pace. Rough head with some space in front of him, but uh, Hill didn't see him coming. Oh, Burgoyne yeah, too. Yeah, he saw Burgoyne. Into the Great pocket he goes. Good vision. Finds him. And well worked. Good transition. The first time they've looked really fluid, the Hawks. Yeah. Not hard to find a Hawks supporter who uh, loves the future potential of Hill. Ball in hand. He's a very creative player. Burgoyne back in the team. 40 metres out. Doesn't miss too many from a set shot. Makes that one look easy. First goal for the Hawks. Well, just the way this man, Sean Burgoyne, of course, great player with Port Adelaide. Probably one of the best clearance players before. Had a few injuries and then he came back as a halfback flanker. Moved in the midfield a number of times. Had an impact last year for the Hawks. But uh, he is a class act. If he's anywhere near fitness, coming into the uh, start of the season, a big part to play and hopefully them going all, all the way this season. Yeah, I think he's a key player. Oh. Uh, you know, to win the Premiership. If he's fit and fine, he's safe. Good defence. And another 50. It's just, they're on sale today, Tom. Yep. It's a special down here at Lonnie. Yep. And Gibson really pushing the ball up quickly. He knows he's got a nice open forward line. He's trying to make the most of it. Gibson quickly. Spanger made some space. Too far out to kick a goal. Roughhead leads to the pocket. No one at the square for him, though. Roughhead doubles back. Can he get there in time, Jared? He's running. He's coming. He almost got it. Smith the crumb. Oh, taken by Savage. Sets him up. Facing goal. Thank you very much. Well, it's brilliant work by Jared Roughhead. We'll get to that. Here's the 50 metre penalty. There's the punch and then the grab, and then he was immediately on his bike. There's the 50. I think it was uh, Lonigan coming in, yep. giving away a dumb free kick. He made the little... contest, didn't he, Ruffhead? Yeah, Ruffhead was superb. He was uh, led up the ground, and then he ducked back and brought the ball to ground. Nice work there. Here you see him coming. Sure, you called him. Is that, that a legal handball, though, Jerry? Yeah, it was. From Smith? Yep. Here's Ruffhead. As as That's your what hands. you want from a key forward. Now watch Smith. Jared? Yep. Punched it out of his hands. He throws it in the air and punches. Well worked by Dureya to Birchall. Hill, oh. lovely step. And found his target. Simpkin away. On the left boot. So Good vision. Here. Anderson's got it. It bounces for him. He's within 50. He gets on the left boot. There's oh. a two and a minute for Hawthorne. Yes, indeed. Well, Jed Anderson, I'll tell you what's happening, though, with Richmond. They, they've got numbers back, but what happened? They got a couple of those mid-range players outside 50 metre arc got sucked to the play, Jared, and didn't worry about players getting behind them. And this is where they found this space. Jed Anderson here just yes. runs I like the way he's taking it on here. We like the conversion. Good finish. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a great asset to have. That's a lovely leg, isn't it? A young 19-year-old man from Darwin. Yet to play an AFL game, and this is the... It'll help in his cause, Jared, when he can finish like that. Yep, that's an absolute beauty. They're looking for more run, the Hawks. Bit of a question mark on their pace, I reckon, Shorey, but uh, mm -hmm. you, you've got to add a couple of youngsters like Jed Adds Anderson. I reckon Ruffy's in that temperamental full forward mode, Jared. You know, yeah. Sort of things already, you know. You reckon he's getting different signals in his brain because he's shifted to the key forward. <laughs> See a lot of full forward. Oh, oh, oh marriage. Too clever. Oh, with a poor mistake. Mitchell up and under, tough one to Mark. Anderson had a crack at it. It might fall for Burgoyne off the ground. Three in a row, Hawthorne. They've come from nowhere. Second goal to Burgoyne. Second involvement from Anderson. Well, he had a brilliant year last year, Ivan Marrick. But, uh, Big Ivan, what happened? This one <laughs> probably uh, was just getting ahead of himself a little bit. Bachelor was just, he looked away and didn't know. Here it is again. Well, he was looking at him all the time, and I think Bachelor mustn't have looked him in the eye, thinking I was going to fake and not give it to me. But I think Bachelor thought he was going to go round the back and use him <laughs> as, a, as a shepherd. But well, under Anderson too. Anderson good fight back by the Hawks. It was fantastic in the air to keep that ball alive in the forward 50 then. And there's another one over the top. They're just What's happening, the Richmond uh, back line are either too deep or they're not coming up enough to fill in those spaces. And there's good another hit. one. From him, 13th disposal. That was Ruffy a beautiful on. pass, and Ruffhead will take a shot at goal. He's within range. He's inside the 50. So we'll have to get, uh, address this because that was again to get a 50, 250 kicks inside 50 like that means that you're breaking down in your lines, your defensive lines.
from just outside the 50, but it is a six-point play. And he sneaks it in, just curves back for his first goal of the afternoon. Beautiful conversion there from Ruffy. Let's have a look at the lead-up, Shuri. Well, there's one over the back there, Jared, already. Now, to find this space here, you can see... One of the risks, I think it was Rance. Rance came up into the middle corridor yeah. where he had to come over and fill in that spot right here where Lewis get marks the ball. So you could just see there, Alex Rance, they'll go back over that tape and say, hey, you've got to work out the percentage. Let him mark the ball outside 50 more than your teammate, uh, your opponent marking inside 50. Seven disposals for Roughhead in his first goal. Oh, that crack on top. Yeah, that was it. It was, uh, it was pretty amazing that the sound that came out of it. Um, so straight away I knew something was wrong and I couldn't wait there for a little bit so that also gave it away. So Suffling being carried along the boundary at the moment. Brendan Whitecross joining us here in the commentary box. Suffered an ACL injury last year. Spanger kicks the goal at the other end so good news and bad for the Hawks all around here. That's the goal that brings them back to a 15 point margin. Well just having a look at uh, that little insert box he, he might just have a dislocated kneecap which in the context of what we think it may well be it would be a really good result but uh, on the scoreboard side there's a good Jeez. shove out whether or not it was legal or not doesn't matter but uh, Spanger again showing his first he normally does He's, he is a really anaerobic beast he works hard and then he comes off then he works hard again and comes oh, right, off right. clearing kick was a good one from Simkin and Ruffhead too big and strong will get a run on in midfield to get enough ball to make you pay and that's what might happen here Roughhead shouldn't miss, doesn't. Another goal for him. Margin back to nine points, and they edge closer. Yeah, they've had the flow of it for the last few minutes, the Hawks, and finally they found a way to goal. Just keeping on getting opportunities, though, because the Tigers have uh, gifted them those opportunities. Not really strong defence there from Ty Vickery. He needs to do better than that. Shepherd it out, but he's got to be able to get involved and uh, make sure he's not buffered it off the line and make sure that that ball gets one to Grimley. One. Grimley got rid of Newman, has the height advantage. Hard yeah, well man to get done. rid of though on the tackle. Grimley kept it alive. Back here to Burgoyne, takes on Martin, got it over to Stratton. High ball in from him. Spain has got it on the lead, and the Hawks keep challenging. Gee, that great signs with Grimley there, Jared. Just the agility at ground level mm. for a, a very tall player to be able to get back and double Boy. back. In good pressure by the Hawks to uh, create this turnover and Spanger gets an opportunity for his first goal. Oh, he got one earlier, Jared, around Second the corner goal. in this quarter, yeah, so might be two. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Beautiful finish. That's how you finish on a, on a set shot. That's a lovely kick and Hawks back to a three-point margin. Tigers didn't put him away. Well, here's that one that we're talking about. A couple of extra handballs inboard. And again, the ball goes to ground. And uh, it's the Hawks that were able to uh, keep control of it. And they got it. They went forward. And this is the one you're talking about, yeah, Shuri. just here. Chrissy Newman, good, you know, broke the tackle. And then get the ball. Just the awareness in the second effort. Yeah, didn't go to ground. Sean Bergelin just took on Dustin Martin and said, I'm going to try and break that tackle. He's done, some, he's done more good things than bad, Spanger. So, yep. again, we say he's a flexible player at this level. And he's positive on the... Uh, oh, yeah. he's been hit. Oh, he's top one. Right on the wing, 30 metres off this play. The umpire's gone down. We can hear the umpire on the effects, Mike, and he's in a spot of bother at Sierra. The questions we ask every week in footy. <laughs> Wangadine to put the Hawks in front. Spanger couldn't do it. Can Wangadine do it? 45 metres out. Rides it up high. He can do it. Hawthorne have hit the front. Well, they just want a little bit more right now, the younger Hawks. Bit of a two-speed economy going on out there, sure. Yes. Uh, some of these blokes who are absolutely desperate to Martin. What's been of some interest to me, Shuri, is this time last year, and certainly in the first week or two of the home and away season, we saw a lot of cramping. Yeah. And the only cramping I've seen so far this year in the Nat Cup is the Hawks go forward, and they're about to kick a goal. Grimley will get it from 10 metres out, slots it through, and we're back to a one-kick game. Nice rebound there by the Hawks. You yeah, saw a couple of kids cramping last night for the GWS, but... I think everybody is preparing more now with uh, a hell of a lot more running coming into mm. the pre-season now. They're still going to be <laughs> absolutely out on their feet again in round one. You can absolutely guarantee it. But 
I suspect we're not going to see quite as much cramping as we did this time last year. Well, I think the, the aerobic side of the game, Jared, it's just uh, it's going to be massive now, um, especially with the rotations. It means you're going to have to... You know, people say... Uh, red the queue. Show and makers. It's complicating it, Shuri. When the yeah, ship, no, you're right. simple looks to me with what they've got out there to be the more efficient. Lewis let it go for Smith and he draws his man. Stratton for nine points. It wobbles it to the goal square. Yeah. It wobbles it to Ruffhead and the Hawks will be in front. Well, yeah, but Stratton, being a defender, didn't have enough confidence and then it was an ugly kick forward, but fortune favours the braid for even front. Ruffhead. Third goal for Jared Ruffhead. Hawks out to a five-point lead. They made it look easy with the Tigers at the other end. Made it look difficult. Well, it's amazing how many times the forwards in front when you kick the ball quickly to the top of the goal square. This is who's missing from the Hawks, who are currently five points in front. Franklin. But Savage stayed down. Over to Anderson. Bangs it forward. Hill. Clever. Little gives a good one. Smith. Ten metres out. Oh, right goes across. Down. Goes across to right there. Hill was pretty cool there. But some other players panic. Whether it's pressure... And it is a fair bit. Of, there's no doubt, as I said, the intensity's picked up. They want to win this game. Ruffhead for another goal. The lead to change once again. Four goals for Ruffhead. Four lead changes in this last quarter. Well, starting up some amazingly close results. Let's have a look at this. It was a really important one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Nice give. Did well there. Yeah, Anderson just whacked it forward. There was a little fumble. A little toe poke from Hill to himself. Just a really tiny fumble from Jake Batchelor, and that uh, has cost them. But also, I think, Shuri, under the pump, the Tigers are always looking to handball the ball. In a tight circle, you very rarely see them now just get the ball and kick it on their boot. Now, Delidio, Brett Delidio, you're right. He yeah. took it under the pump. All he had to do was kick it forward. Time to do it. it. Just had another laugh with Chris Tuman. He said, no tanking at the Tigers. We're here to win. <laughs> a big leap over the oh, top. That's a free kick. Free kick. Push. It's a kick to Jared Ruffhead. Well, Newman's a match winner at one end. Ruffhead's got four in. I don't know if there was a flick there. No, you'd have to, uh, you have to believe everything he said. I'm not saying he didn't touch it, but still looked to push out. Ruffhead for his fifth. Oh. And the Hawks are back in front. What a finish to this game at Aurora Stadium. Goal for goal. Hawthorne by five. Still 72 seconds, sorry. Game's uh, up for grabs. Yeah, it is, Jared. The clearances are so important. Now, let's have a look. He said that he did touch at the umpire. Well, the umpire can't probably tell from that. He it looked like he went too early. Well, I thought Ruffy started the day pretty ordinary, Ruffy. I thought he's a full forward in that mode where they just, nothing's going to work. He's ended up kicking five goals. <laughs> and I think he's, a, I still think that he looks like he's a long way off fitness, Jared. He, he'll be right by the first round, probably, but maybe a little bit of hard work whacking into there. He's been big in it.